Hello friends. In this tutorial I will show to you how to use Microsoft Power Toys on Windows 11. You can download and install Power Toys from the Microsoft Store. For that, open Microsoft Store and find Power Toys. Click on install button. Once you finish installation, Microsoft Power Toys will open. Click on Open Settings. Scroll down and click Restart Power Toys as Administrator to avoid security related issues. Always on top, Power Toys offers an easy way to make any window always on top. Just press Windows plus Ctrl plus T, and the window will be on top of all your other windows until you undo the change with Windows plus Ctrl plus T. When you use the shortcut, the window made always on top will get a blue border, and a notification sound will play. You can change border color and thickness. Change color mode to custom and pick your color. Change thickness using the scroll button. Next Awake. If you enable Awake button, Power Toys Awake gives you a quick notification area icon that lets you control sleep settings. You can have your PC never go to sleep until you tell it not to. Or, you can configure your PC to only stay awake until a predetermined time you set. Next app Color Picker. Color Picker is an eyedrop tool that works anywhere on your system. 
after enabling it in Power Toys, press Win plus Shift plus C to open it anywhere. You'll see the color code displayed in both hex and RGB, so you can use it in other programs. Click on copy button, and the color code will be copied to your clipboard so you can paste it. If you like to change default color format, click on default color format scroll arrow, then select it. If you enable the color name, the name along with the color will appear on the screen. If you need a different color format, enable the button to the right of the color format, whatever you want, Next app Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones is a window manager that lets you create layouts of zones for windows on your desktop. Windows normally lets you snap windows in a 1x1 or 2x2 arrangement. Fancy Zones lets you create more complex layouts. To open the zone editor, press Windows plus Shift plus back quote. You can create custom zone also here. Press and hold the shift key to see the zones. Drop a window in a zone, and it'll snap to that layout on your screen. Next tab File Explorer Add-ons. File Explorer has a preview pane, which can show previews of images and other file types directly in File Explorer. Press Alt plus P in File Explorer to show the preview. Next Image Resizer. PowerToys offers a quick image resizer that integrates with File Explorer. With it enabled, select one or more image files in File Explorer, right-click them, and select Show More Options, and then select Resize Pictures. The Image Resizer window will open. You can then choose a size for the image files or enter a custom size in pixels. By default, the tool will create resized copies of the selected image files, but you can also have it resize and replace the original files. Clicking on the resize button will immediately save the resized files. You can change file format, image quality, and etc. If you want a new image size you can create it here as well.
Next option, Keyboard Manager. Keyboard Manager provides an easy interface for remapping single keys on your keyboard and multiple key shortcuts. The Remap Keyboard tool lets you change a single key to a new key. You can make any key on your keyboard function as any other key including special function keys. If you want to change the function of any button on the keyboard to another, for example use the Tab button instead of the Enter button, click on Remap a key. Click on Plus button. Click on Type under the physical key. Press the Tab key. Click on Type under the Map to. Press the Enter key, then OK. Now I can use the tab key as an alternative to the enter key. If you like to change or create any shortcut in a specific apps, click on remap a shortcut. Click on plus button and then click type under the physical shortcut and enter key or select from scroll. Click type under the map to and enter key, or select from scroll. Enter the application name, under the target app. Click on OK. Here one is entered when I use the created control plus zero. Mouse utilities. It can sometimes be hard to spot your mouse, especially if you're using a high resolution display. Mouse utilities adds two keyboard shortcuts that make this easier, find my mouse and mouse highlighter. To use find my mouse, double tap the left control key. Most of your screen will gray out, leaving behind a light circle spotlighting the position of your mouse cursor. You can change activation method double tap the left control key to shake mouse. You can change appearance, like opacity, background color and spotlight color. Mouse highlighter leaves behind a colored circle every time you click. To activate and deactivate it, press Windows plus Shift plus H by default. You can change the appearance also here.
Enable mouse pointer crosshairs. If you enable this option, and press shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus P, draws crosshairs centered on the mouse pointer. Next option Power Rename. Microsoft's Power Toys include a batch renaming tool named Power Rename. With this feature enabled, you can right-click one or more files or folders in File Explorer, select Show More Options, and select Power Rename in the context menu to open it. The Power Rename tool window will appear. You can use the text boxes and checkboxes to quickly batch rename files. You can remove words from a file name, replace phrases, add numbers, change multiple file extensions at once, and more. You can set maximum number of items in a batch rename. Next Power Toys Run. Power Toys Run can quickly find files. It can even find and switch to open windows just search for their window title. To open it, press Alt plus space. This keyboard shortcut is customizable from the Power Toys Run pane in Power Toys settings. Start typing for a phrase to search for applications, files, and even open windows. Use the arrow keys to select an item in the list, and press enter to launch the application, open the file, or switch to the window. You can set up maximum number of search results, position and appearance. Shortcut Guide The Windows Key Shortcut Guide will help you learn and remember these shortcuts. To open press Win plus Shift plus Slash. You can hold the Windows key and the key that appears on the screen. Last option Video Conference Mute. The Video Conference Mute Power Toy gives you universal keyboard shortcuts for quickly muting your microphone and turning off your camera. They work in every Windows application. Thanks for watching my videos, subscribe me if you like this channel, and please share if you like the video.